Okay, so in today's video, I wanna talk about how my failed book on screen right now is still making me between 100 and $150 per month. So this is kind of an untold factor of publishing books on Amazon that is super, super, super important. And what we're talking about here is managing failed books so that they either make us some money or make us our money back, okay? So this is the book that I published back in October the 7th of 2023. It's had around, I think, 800 sales and around 200 of those have come from advertising campaigns. I think it's probably slightly higher than that. But the problem with this is that I found that the book, while it was making a tiny bit of money, no matter what I did with the advertising campaigns, I was still at a loss. So I was running automatic campaigns manual campaigns for a prolonged period, product targeting campaigns, keywords. I pretty much tried everything with this book here for a prolonged period. What I realized was that I just wasn't really making any money with this book. So across your publishing journey, you are going to run into this scenario where you need to know how to manage your books and at what point you should manage those books as well. So if we just head over to Canva here and take a look at how I'm going to um, present this to you, the first thing that I want people to understand is that you cannot run ads at a loss forever, especially if you're doing like a $6.99, $7.99 or an $8.99 book. You just can't keep running ads at a loss forever. So when I tell people to this, I like to tell, when I tell this to people, I like to use Cocoa Wild as an example. So everyone knows that Cocoa Wild are making a lot of money. They're wildly successful on Amazon. But if you take a look back through some of their books, even very recent books, you can see that they're not selling particularly well. And if a book is not selling particularly well, that's not exactly the best example ever, but the likelihood here is that they're not running advertising campaigns to order their books. So if we use this book as an example from Coco Wire, what we can see is the book is ranked nearly at 1 million, which means that they're not running advertising campaigns. They might be, but they're certainly not pushing this book like it's gonna make them a ton of money. So so what I'm trying to get at here, number two, is that your books are going to fail. Not every single book is worth running advertising campaigns to for a prolonged period. So there is a consistent across all the successful low and medium content book publishers, and that is that they will test their book into the marketplace for X amount of budget, for X amount of time, and then make an informed decision if they want to continue pushing that project or whether they want to give up on that project. So what we're talking about today is how you should give up on your books. So for the sake of this example, let's say that one in five of our books are going to stick around and be massively successful on Amazon. So I know that some people watching this are gonna say, I've got 50 books and none of them are successful. They're all losing me money. And that's because the books that you're creating, whether you want to admit it or not, are just not good enough. And as we go through this video, I'm gonna offer you a solution to that problem. But let's talk about this failure percentage and let's talk about managing these failed books. So what we want to assume if you watch on screen now here is that we are going to go through, for every single book that we publish, we're going to go through a launch period. Let's just call it LP, okay? So we're gonna have our launch period across here. So typically, for me, the launch period is gonna be between two and four weeks. Now, what I have noticed, especially for low content and medium content books, you know, these niches we're trying to get into, they're hot, they've got lots of buyer traffic going to it. What I have noticed is that if your book is gonna take off and do well and show some promise in the marketplace, it's gonna do so within that period, that sort of two to four week period, okay? So let's just say it's a two to four week period, okay? So alongside this time frame, we typically have a budget that we're gonna to allocate to each of these books. So mine is typically going to be around, let's just say $150. Yours might be more, it might be less. I cannot decide that for you. So what a lot of people are doing is they're not considering this launch period. They're not considering their launch budget either. And then what happens is that the books that are destined to be losers, let's just call them losers here with one winner, what they do is that they will run advertising campaigns at a loss for a prolonged period for months and months and months. And bear in mind, the royalties that you get from low content and medium content books, they're gonna be pretty low. So our strategy revolves around that consideration, okay? So you're just losing money, losing money, losing money, losing money, losing money. And then we have one that maybe goes on and wins and make us, makes us a little bit of money, sticks around in the marketplace. But by this time here, across the rest of our books, 
we've already lost a ton of money and we keep going and going. I've seen it before, people will keep going on and on and on, minus 5,000 in some cases with no stop in mind, hoping that eventually that you're gonna get organic sales. So prolonged ad spend, it can help you. There can be a point where a prolonged ad spend will help you get more organic sales, but you cannot assume that it's going to be 100% of the time, because like I say, you're gonna find yourself a ton of money down and it's not worth that risk. So let's take a look at the color by number book here, which I'm gonna call a losing book. And this is how we recoup our investment for our projects and even potentially make money from them. So we went through this launch period, we had a, a X amount of spend, we went through it. We go ahead then, we take a look at the metrics for the advertising campaigns. We then pair that versus the organic sales and we work out, are we actually making money? Are we getting traction? in the marketplace and then we start making these informed decisions as we go through a kind of maintenance period for a book. During this kind of maintenance period here, I was still losing money with the advertising campaigns and the organic sales were not that strong either. So at this point here, I needed to make, let's just call it D for a decision. So at this point where I'm making a decision, I've upped the price to 8.99. And I've also turned off a lot of the advertising campaigns because I don't want to keep losing money. There wasn't enough information during this period to say this book is gonna go on and make you a ton of organic sales. So it's damage limitation at this point. Now, let me show you what my considerations are from here. And that is as we go forward, what I care about is what I'm gonna call a Q4 recoup. And this happens pretty much every single Q4 for a lot of these books that I've cut off that had some potential but still weren't making money is I cut off the project and then I let the insane amount of traffic that comes from Q4 make up the sales, make back the investment for the project and even make some money going forward. So again, what a lot of people will do during this Q4 period is that they will continue running ads even to their failed books because Q4 is so good, right? They'll keep running ads, they'll keep running ads, keep running ads, and just keep losing a ton of money, okay? So at this point here, for Q4 for this book, what I can guarantee is going to happen, we're gonna be in the green all through October, November, and December, okay? So if I head back to the listing here, just to show you what's happened of the lifetime for this book and the considerations for managing this book here, we launched it at a break-even price. We test the resistance at the break-even price. You don't have to do that. I don't do it anymore. Then we upped it to $6.99 whilst we're running more and more advertising campaigns to see how things are going. And I ran this at $6.99 for a very long time, okay? Way past the launch period. I was looking at all these metrics and I was thinking, well, they're quite good. They're not too bad. There's some organic sales. But during this period, we're not really making any money. And at some point, we have to make a decision. So here, I've upped the book to $8.99 to test the resistance whilst there is no advertising spend happening. So as you can see, we are still making the organic sales during this period. Now what I've done here, because I feel like just testing something, is to see how the resistance is at a much higher price point. And that's not really relevant to this video. But as you can see here, we're still making money during this period here, even though it's not super glamorous low BSRs, we're still making um, pretty much profit at this point. And during Q4, I can guarantee if I lower the price back to A99, that we're gonna make a lot of that money back and hopefully make some money going forward. So really it's this launch period here for every single book that you need to focus on and then make a decision. Should I carry on running these advertising campaigns? Does it make sense to keep doing that? or should I just cut my losses basically? Because the thing here, what happens, and so many people do this, is that they spend almost thousands, I've seen people spend tens of thousands losing tens of thousands on these books, and what they're better off doing instead of running this crazy ad spend up in their account is creating another book and just moving on until they hit those winners, which they do come if you are producing high enough quality books in niches with traffic going to them. For example, across the first few days of August, we're at 1,226 here. Now, most of that is coming from around three or four books in account that has over 50 live books on it. So you have to consider this failure percentage and you have to consider managing the books that are destined to fail because they will remember if people on YouTube are doing it, if Coco Wild, Jade Summer, 
all the big publishers are doing it, you have to consider this as well. So one of the biggest problems that independent publishers have is not knowing if their books are good enough to go through this launch period. They don't know what to do during a maintenance period where they look at the advertising stats to see if they're good enough to keep running ads to, which is why I've set up the Raydog service. You can check this out at chrisraydog.com. It's in the description below. What we have here are tons and tons of course content. We have my strategies. We have private rooms where you can get my direct feedback on what you're doing. We have live weekly coaching calls with me and other sellers. We have limited events going here. Another recent addition is we have monthly niche reports here where we take a look at less competitive niches just for people that are inside the membership. And like I say, if you're just starting off here, there is a ton, a ton, a ton of course content here that you get from day number one. Again, if you wanna check that out, it's chrisradar.com. It's going to be in the description below. And also part of the service, we have the private Discord rooms where you can get my feedback on exactly what you are doing. For example, we take a look at people's advertising campaigns and then help them make decisions going forward as to whether those metrics are looking good enough. Pair that versus your organic sales, etc., etc. As part of this service, um, it is my guarantee that I won't bullshit people. I would rather tell people what they need to hear as opposed to what they want to hear, which subsequently is saving people a ton of money and time every single month and getting people onto a good path with their publishing business. But like I say, that's all in the description below, but hopefully this is making sense. It's not as complicated as I've made it uh, seem to be. It's just that everyone's situation is going to be different, but there is gonna be this fundamental where you are testing your book into the marketplace you monitor your metrics, then you make a decision, then you move on to the next project.